It was in 1984 when 32 years old Nav Bhatia left for Canada with the dream of becoming an engineer. However, Destiny had some other plans. The Sikh from New Delhi failed to get a job as an engineer and landed a job of a car salesman. Making quick success as the owner and general manager of the firm, Bhatia began another journey of being Canadian basketball club Raptors superfan. The immigrant is the biggest fans of the Raptors and has been to every single Raptors home game since 1995. Uh, you know, I went to Canada and uh, I couldn't find a job as an engineer, so I have found a job as a car salesman and I worked in the car as a car salesman and I was with God's grace a very good salesman and I sold, uh, you know, 127 cars in my first three months and uh, that was a record at the time and still is a record and and after that I became a manager and a general manager and an owner and in 95 when the Raptors came I bought two tickets and I tried to because I didn't have any hobbies or any pastime so I decided to uh, buy the two tickets and I basically fell in love with the game of basketball on the very first game because the way the game is entertaining and the it's an, it takes you in a different world, it takes you in a different zone. So you forget about everything, all your stresses and everything, and you just are in a different world. And it gives you not just entertainment, but it also gives you relaxation. And, uh, you know, that's how I got uh, introduced to the game of basketball. It was the 1984 Sikh riots that forced the Bhatia clan to make their way to Canada. Well, I'm born in New Delhi, India, and uh, I grown up in around uh, New Delhi, and then uh, I went to states for my education for being an engineer. I came back in '83, and then uh, to join my family, my family's optical business, and then in '84, what happened? The riots happened, and then after that, we decided to move. To Canada, I was the first one to move and uh, uh, settle down there. That's what my I'm a Sikh. The journey to find a job was not easy for him back in the 1980s. You know, so I was in a safe country, but my finding a job was very difficult. But I, like I said before, that I found a job as a car salesman, and I was uh, God was good. I got blessed, and I I was very successful, and I moved into management in a very short time, and then uh, soon after that, I became a partner and an owner in a dealership, and uh, since then, the life has been very good and satisfying. However, he still remembers the first NBA game he went to watch and how he fell in love with it. The very first game I went was uh, in 95, 95-96 season in November. Uh, it was very entertaining. I was new to the game, but that's the day I fell in love with that game. And that's why I have not missed a single game for the last 24 years from the very first game I saw. Because basketball is one of the, it is the most entertaining game on this planet and uh, gives you not just entertainment but gives you uh, relaxation and uh, all the other things to take you away into a different zone and world. And once you come out of it, you know, it is a different feeling and resting feeling and uh, amazing. For Bhatia, a $75 ticket to the game changed his life. I bought two tickets, they were $75 each and of course their money came from my pocket. And he was welcomed into the Raptors family and became the face of the club. In 98-99, uh, I was called by my, uh, the, the vice president and the general manager of the Raptors called me and said that we want to don't go anywhere in the halftime because we want to do something with you. So I went to the halftime in the court. He called me in the court and presented me with a jersey which says uh, Raptors Superfan 1. And uh, I'll show you that jersey. Let me that. Yeah, the one, top one, yeah. yeah. So this is the jersey which I was presented by him and I became the super fan and uh, the face of the Raptors. 
Bhatia is to Raptors what Sudhir Gautam is to the Indian cricket team. However, he has no clue about the famous Sachin Tendulkar fan. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know uh, who Sudhir is. So, I, I cannot comment on that. Bhatia has not missed a single game from 1995 and now is a part of the NBA family. I get a lot of love from the players for the longest time now. And I'm, uh, they are my family. Even not just the players even, it's the coaches and the opposing player and the referees even. So I get a lot of love. I'm a part and parcel of my NBA league with all the players and the coaches and the referees. Not only is he a part of the Raptors family, he has officially been announced as the national team's global community ambassador. Well, that feels very good and I'm humbled by that, uh, uh, by that announcement, by that title. And uh, now we got to make sure that in the next five years, we win the medal for Canada. While he is a basketball addict, Bhatia has no knowledge about Indian sports. Do you follow them? No, I don't. I am so, you know, I'm sorry. Please forgive me on that. But I don't follow because all my time is consumed with basketball. However, he has slight clue about some of the Indian sports persons. Yeah, I, 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 I've, I know Kapil Dev. I've heard about uh, Tendukular. I have heard about Virasat Kohli and uh, sports person. You know, that's that's about you know. I'm not too much knowledgeable about this. The Raptors fan believes that his involvement will not only inspire immigrants in Canada but youths in India as well. Oh, not just in Canada, I hope in India also. With these games coming up on uh, October the 4th and the 5th, the first time this most exciting game on this planet is going to be showcased here in Mumbai. I believe it is going to uh, bring a lot of attention and a lot of... And I think once the people see this game and be a part of this game, they are going to get hooked up to this game. They are going to get addict addicted to this game just like I did. He is happy to hear about a sports lit fest which will be organized in Brampton in November. The city is going to city Toronto city has become an our mayor and is a very pro sports. He was involved in the basketball run in the championship run quite a bit and we welcome all these sports things because in the end sports brings the world together and we are one and Canada supports that all the way. So I believe we will welcome it and Canada will welcome it and the Canadians common people will welcome that.